Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Nest With Me video. We have a lot to do in today's video and I'm really excited to get these things crossed off of my to-do list. I am 35 weeks pregnant, so we have about five weeks until Tatum arrives and I'm just really like getting my butt in gear to try and prepare for her arrival. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what we're doing today. So we are gonna be making a diaper caddy basket that I can bring with me around the house to change her in. You guys know she's gonna be in our room and she's gonna be set up in here but if we are with her anywhere else around the house it'll be nice to just be able to move this wherever we are so I can change her conveniently and then this is gonna be by my bedside so this is gonna be my nursing essentials basket and then this will be in the bathroom so this is gonna be my postpartum essentials basket so everything I need for after birth when I go to the bathroom so all this stuff will be linked below. So this is everything that's gonna be going in the diaper caddy. So I have baby wipes, diapers, a burp cloth, an extra outfit, some baby powder, some diaper rash cream, hand sanitizer, and then these are both changing mats. So when we change her like on the carpet or whatever, we can just lay this underneath her. This one is a cotton one. And this is one that's like wipeable. So that is everything that's going in this diaper caddy and I'm gonna pack everything up in here and then we will move on to the breastfeeding essentials basket. I wasted all my time, I wasted all my nights, I wasted it on someone who's indifferent. He didn't love me right, he told me I was blind, but I never really wanted to listen. So here is the diaper caddy. Everything fits perfectly. We can add things if we need them. I can stick like a binky or a swaddle or whatever I need in here, but these are the necessities that we need to change her. And I think it turned out really nicely. So now we're gonna move on to the breastfeeding essentials basket. So this is everything that's gonna be going in my breastfeeding caddy. So I have my LV pump that I don't think is gonna fit in there. It might actually, I don't know. But this is my first time using the LV pump, so I'm really excited to test that out and let you guys know how I like it. But okay, this is everything that's going in there. So we have the Haka. I have some disposable nursing pads. These ones are my favorite. The Vava Nightlight. This will just go on my nightstand. This is a nightlight that you can just tap. And there's a setting where you can tap it to like a really dim light setting for those middle of the night feeds. Snacks, all the snacks. <laughs> these are so good. If you follow me on Instagram, I've already been eating a ton of these just because they're good. Um, but these are lactation cookies. So I have four packets of those. I have some liquid IV to stick into a water bottle if I need some extra hydration. I'm also gonna stick a couple of these booby bars in there as well. These are just to help with your milk supply, and same with this stuff. I've heard really good things about this liquid gold supplement. I got this off of Amazon, so um, this will be the first time that I'm trying this though, so I'll let you guys know how well I like that. The Wish Garden Baby Blues, I have not yet tried, but the After Ease by the same brand, I use this with Shay and Grayson, and you just put a couple drops in your water, and it's supposed to help with the after birth contractions, and it really does help minimize the pain. So this is a must have and I recommend it to all new moms. It's a game changer, but I have not yet tried this. Tiffany Beeston said she used it. So I'm excited to try that out as well. Um, this is from Young Living. It's the Seedlings Calm Linen Spray. I have a binky, some chapstick. This is a lip mask that I love from Morphe. Um, so I'm gonna throw that in there along with a hair clip and a scrunchie for I don't know, just in case when I'm breastfeeding and my hair is like bothering me, I can just like clip it up. Um, I have some cooling gel pads, some nipple shields just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna use those, but we'll see, you never know. Um, a heating pad is a must have. Stool softener for obvious reasons, post birth. Tylenol, same thing. And then this is the nipple balm I'm using. It's organic, it's by Boobies. I think I used this with Shea too, but yeah, I'm gonna throw that in there as well because that is a definite must have. So now I'm gonna pack everything up and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm done.
Okay, here is how it turned out. Everything fits perfectly in here, all organized, all the necessities. If you guys think I'm missing anything that you think I need to throw in here, let me know. But this is pretty much everything. I can probably just leave this in my drawer in my nightstand. Um, but anyways, that's what it turned out like. And I have my heating pad over here that I'm just going to keep on my bed. And then some more disposable nursing pads that I can restock whenever I need to. So that is that. Now we're going to move on to my postpartum bathroom basket. So this is everything that's going in here. So I have diapers, some large pads, some honey pot wipes, Freedom Mom wipes. So two different options. Um, some perennial foam to put on the pad some Earth Mama Perennial Spray. This is a must-have. I've used this since Shea, and this feels amazing down there after birth. And then these are basically like tux pads, but they're organic. And then the only thing that I'm missing that's not here that I thought I had that I don't is a peri bottle. So like a squirt bottle that you spray down there when you go to the bathroom to help relieve the burn. So I need to... I'll probably actually just get one of those from the hospital because they always send you home with one. So I don't really need that. Um, and then the hospital sends you home with Dermaplast too. Um, but I never really needed to use that. But just in case, I'll get sent home from the hospital with those things. So I don't really need to buy them. But yeah, that's everything that's going in here. And I'll throw this basket in the bathroom. So I have everything on hand for when I get home from the hospital. finished my postpartum basket so I have all my pads in there diapers and all of the foams and sprays and wipes and stuff and then I just put the freedom on wipes up here on the toilet so they're easy to access and then once I'm done with those I'll try out the honey pot ones but gonna leave that there for now so I am all ready to go I have a checklist on my phone for each basket if you guys want to screenshot this and then I'll move it down for the nursing basket and I always get questions when you guys see the little check marks um, how to do that so you just you click this little box right here or this little check box right there and it'll um, give you a little bubble where you can check it off as you go so um, everything is checked off I just need a peri bottle but that's it so I will have all this stuff linked down below most of this stuff I got from Amazon and Target um, but if you want exact links for the things that I put in my caddies, everything will be in the description box. So I put all my breast pump stuff in this basket right here. This basket was underneath my nightstand, but now I have all of my breastfeeding essential stuff in there in that caddy. So this basket was empty. So I just put all my LV pump stuff in there for when I'm ready to start using it. 
everything is accessible and ready to go. I'll probably end up sanitizing all this stuff before I actually use it along with her bottles and binkies and stuff like that. Um, that'll probably be my next video. So this is my nursing checklist if you guys want to screenshot this too. So this is everything that I still have left to do that I will be making videos on. So I still need to pack my hospital bag. I still need to um, sterilize pump parts, bottles, binkies, and then put all that stuff away in the kitchen, uh, put together the swing, put together the baby monitor, and then once the snoo gets here, uh, we'll put that together and the baby monitor. The one that I use is the lollipop cam, and that just hooks straight on to the snoo. So once that gets here, I can put that together. And then the nurse's baskets. A lot of you guys want me to film that too. So I'm going to be filming all of this stuff. So this is what you can expect to see on my channel in the next couple weeks before baby gets here. So we're making progress on my nesting to-do list. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my future Nest With Me videos. Please give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey, don't you look at me like that? When you break my heart like that, like you feel sorry.